The Origin of Life and Structure of the Universe, by Radivoy Radivoyevitz. Evolution is evolution, but the combinatorics are combinatorics. What evolutionists won't tell you. Simple organisms are not simple at all, and cannot be. The creation of life cannot begin with 10, 100, or 1000 nucleotides of DNA. Viruses are small, from 3500 to 1 million of nucleotides, but they cannot replicate themselves. Their DNA have instructions for the structure of one or more proteins that perform a function. However, for anything to function or replicate, they need to be inside of complex machinery of self-replicating organism. The simplest self-sufficient organism have about 1 million nucleotides, plankton type. Other self-replicating start from around 150,000 nucleotides, but they depend on a symbiotic relationship with various other organisms because not all can synthesize all of amino acids or process other compounds. The evolution have to start with at least 100,000 nucleotides arranged in the proper functional sequence, while large majority of DNA sequences are dysfunctional. How many combinations there are? For this number of 100,000 nucleotides, the number of possible combinations is 4 to the 100,000, number consisting of 60,000 decimal digits. By comparison the number of atoms in the known universe is 10 to the 80, 80 digits and in the earth 10 to the 50, carbon much less than that. But DNA alone cannot do anything. Besides DNA, many function proteins are needed, several hundreds different. Each of these proteins consists of exact arrangement of amino acids. 22 types of amino acids are arranged in chains of tens, hundreds or thousands of amino acids and folding in a 3D shape of a molecule, protein. Each amino acid fits to each other on both sides and then make connections on other points of the molecule. One wrong amino acid, and the molecule will function differently. Some proteins serve for duplication of DNA or RNA sequences, some decode sequences of amino acids according to instructions, and connect them together in chains, some react with each other and make logical reconfigurations, some perform variety of chemical reactions within organic compounds. Each simple reaction requires much more complex proteins to perform it. This works like a factory, where big machines are needed to make small objects on the production line. Ribosome is a protein of several thousand amino acids. Its role is to decode the sequence of RNA, and for each combination of three nucleotides attract one appropriate of 22 kinds of amino acids, and add them to the chain. This molecule and other proteins have a complex 3D quantum logical structure, like for example today's 2D logical structure of microprocessors. When we consider hypothetical possibility of accidental ribosome formation, it is one of order of 22 to the 5000 possible combinations, 6700 digits number. If we take one molecule of each combination, we would need unimaginably more than the size of visible universe to fit them. If we have 10 to the 45 molecules, which is theoretically the size of the planet, all of them are a different amino acid combination, and we make that each of them exist only a picosecond after which we make from it a new combination, then repeat the process every picosecond until you list all combinations, so that in a long period of time every combination existed only in one place and only for one picosecond. One second equals 10 to the 12 picoseconds. 1 year equals 3 times 10 to the 7 seconds. 1 year equals 3 times 10 to the 19 picoseconds. 3 times 10 to the 19 times 10 to the 45 equals 3 times 10 to the 64 molecules per year. 10 to the 6700 divided by 3 times 10 to the 64 equals 3.3 times 10 to the 66 36 years. To list all combinations of a protein of 5,000 nucleotides we need 3.3 times 10 to the 66 36 years, number with 66 37 digits. For comparison, age of our galaxy is 11 digits, and each new digit multiply previous period 10 times. This is unthinkable exponential difference. But this would not be enough to form life, because a handful of proper molecules would appear with a large distance and a measurable time difference, against all chances to be in the same place at the same time. Even if we reduce the diversity of amino acids and some have a similar function in the geometry of molecules, and reduce the molecule, we still get too large order of magnitude, 
for example 10 to the 1000 years is equally unthinkable. In addition to ribosome many other specific molecules are required. For ribosomes and any other function proteins to exist in an organism, the organism must constantly create them from instructions of DNA code. For organism to be created and function, there must be both, whole DNA, and equivalent set of ready proteins, in the same place, and each in a sufficient number of copies. Also, scaffold proteins are needed to connect in the lattice and form cell membranes, or the molecules would move out. Even without membrane, a large density of only few relevant types of proteins in water would be required. For whole ocean on the planet to be concentration of only a hundred of appropriate protein types, out of say, 10 to the 1000 possible is one too incredible coincidence. To find these compatible molecules together in a small area formed by random recombining, we multiply hundreds of all those oversized exponents, and get ridiculously unrealistic probability, and far beyond unthinkable exponents. Things become even more complicated with the development of complex organisms. In multicellular organisms, RNA is divided, discarded if needed, and recombined to form dozens of different proteins from same sequence parts. Some plants and animals have over 120 billion nucleotides. The human DNA is a small number of harmonious variations of 4 to the 3 billion 400 million possible combinations, beyond astronomical number of 2 billion digits, billion is number of 10 digits. The number of different proteins is in the order of 2 million, and some are composed of 27,000 amino acids, or 1 of 22 to the 27,000 possibilities, far more than in the case of ribosome. It is unusual how those molecules know where exactly to be and not to wander off, suggesting a complex quantum logic and precisely defined flow of energy around the DNA and proteins, caused by their structure and the resulting field in the cell and whole organism. With accidental trial and error there is an excessive number of possible changes, and chaotic approach cannot form such complex organisms in a billion years. The choice of changes in many cases must include the cosmic intelligence. Even 13 billion years in perfect conditions with a maximum concentration of organic compounds is ridiculously short period for a simple life form to organize from chaos. Chaotic approach requires infinite time. To use the famous quote, like if tornadoes sweep through the car junkyard and assemble jumbo jet. When programmer writes a program, he carefully selects instructions and complete solutions, with his intelligence, and fit them together in a way that can work. If we let random generator to arrange bits or instructions, it will take eternity to come to small program which work. Amino acids float freely, but don't tend to connect. Ribosome protein is needed to bring them together in a chain, and other proteins that shape it further. Although it is possible to synthesize amino acids in complex process, it is not known that they form by itself in the sea. Justification of evolutionists is in religious statement that on early Earth, Electricity and cosmic radiation enabled creation of amino acids, although it is known that radiation damaged most of organisms, which brings us to the point that a complex external influence is required for some kinds of compounds to form.